Imagine a future so distant and humanity is spread so far into this vast distant future. We're talking like 20,000 years to humanity's future. And we spread so far across the galaxy, colonized so many worlds that Earth itself has become legend and myth. And no one truly believes that Earth ever really existed at all. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. That's coming right up here on Drew's Book Reviews. Good day, good day, good day, and welcome to another episode of Drew's Book Reviews. Finally, it is time to talk about Isaac Asimov's Foundation. This is a classic science fiction series, awesome and epic and grand in scale. Isaac Asimov wrote this series over several decades, from I believe the, the 50s into the late 80s or even early 90s, I think the last one might have been published. But in any case, it is a fantastic series of books set in the future humanity has colonized the galaxy and organized into a great galactic empire but before we get into that don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe join me in all the links that will be linked below you got my discord my bookstagram my hardcover app social network is all linked down there as well so make sure you go and check that out so the foundation universe is actually compromised of many many books but there are some main books in the series main books in the series would be prelude to foundation Foundation, of course. And we have Foundation and Empire, as well as Second Foundation, Foundation's Edge, Foundation and Earth, and Forward the Foundation. Now, Forward the Foundation is actually a bit of a pre prelude to the whole Foundation series. But just kind of get into this. Imagine a world city. That is what Trantor is. It is a world city, much as if you're a Star Wars fan, you're probably familiar with Coruscant. Trantor, very much the same kind of idea. A world city which is the heart of the galactic empire in this vast universe. So far distant, in fact, that Earth has become legend and myth. And it's not thought to exist. And anybody searching for Earth or actually thinking Earth ever existed in the first place, it's a bit considered a bit crazy. And just the concept that humanity originated on a single world is just so weird and mythological to people of this galactic empire. So what this whole story basis is about is this concept of this one mathematician by the name of Harry Selden. He develops this, this mathematical science called psychohistory. The general idea being that you can predict the event, future events in a mathematical model of large scales of human civilization and society. And through this mathematical science, Harry predicts the fall of the Galactic Empire, which of course causes him to have several and numerous enemies, which he must fight off as he works to develop. Those who want to take advantage of this future predictive model to their own benefit, whether that's the government, military, or other groups within this galactic civilization that wish to take advantage of it. Harry sells himself trying to say, hey, this is not something that could be used in the way that you're wanting to use it. So he gets a lot of enemies along the way. So as his predictions start to come true, he sets up these two foundations to preserve the knowledge of humankind because his psycho history predicts that not only will the galactic empire fall and collapse, civilization will collapse with it and the galaxy will enter a span of 30,000 years of darkness and dark ages, but by establishing the foundation to preserve the knowledge and learning of mankind, we could reduce that 30,000 year dark age down to a single millennium, 1,000 years. And that is the story of the foundation that Isaac Asimov had created. So it really is epic in scope. It's a large, big idea sci-fi. And those are the things that I absolutely love about this series. That being said though, this series does have some drawbacks. If you are a character driven reader, like if characters are what drives your story, you'll probably find that this is much more, much more of a story driven or plot driven series of books, more, a lot more so than it is character driven. Each book is kind of split up into these separate parts and as we go through each separate part, we actually advance uh, sometimes several decades in, 
into the future of this story. And sometimes with each part, we're actually being introduced to new characters for that part. So in a way, you could almost envision this as being broken down into a series of short stories along the way throughout the foundation. But that also, in a way, makes it an easy read because you have this kind of these short story kind of format. Now, it's all one story, of course, but it kind of can have that feel sometimes as we read throughout the book. So definitely it is more of a narrative driven story than a character driven story. The, the books themselves could also be feel a bit dated, both in terms of its technological references in the books, as well as uh, ideas behind gender roles within the societies mentioned by Isaac Asimov. So in a way that there's definitely some dating there that some might feel has not aged all that well since Isaac Asimov wrote it. But for me, while there are those drawbacks, I, it's just something that you almost basically have to expect with older science fiction like we have with Isaac Asimov's foundation. What the real driving force behind this story is, is this concept of these these big ideas sci-fi, the establishment of the foundations, the preserving of human knowledge, the idea that group, large groups of people's behavior and the events of the future and what will happen can be predicted through a mathematical scientific model. These concepts and ideas I absolutely love about this series. And if these are the kind of things that you want to see, if this is the kind of thing you enjoy within your books, I would highly recommend Isaac Asimov's Foundation. I know I certainly enjoyed it, every aspect of it, and I can tell you that it is just an excellent sci-fi read. It is a classic for a reason, albeit a bit dated in some ways. But overall, I have to say that I absolutely loved this series of books. I loved the story as a whole, I loved the epic scope of it, and I loved the big ideas of Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. So those are just my thoughts on Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. Let me know what you thought down below. Why don't you leave a like, comment, subscribe, join me over on my Discord, we can chat about it as well. I look forward to hearing from you. And yeah, let me know what you thought down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep on reading. Bye!